Hello. So our opponents keep on addressing the same issues, how raising minimum wage is gonna help families, they're gonna have better to support themselves and their living costs when we kept already proving to them that young adults are in actuality minimum wage earners, not families. But here's another piece of evidence now. So the bulk of residents are in white youth between the ages of 16 to 24 who work part-time. And this was according to a Pew Research Center with an article titled, Minimum Wage Hikes Won't Reduce Poverty. Poverty, and it was by the U.S. News Digital Weekly. And also say that we say, oh, well, teens could also use more extra money. Well, even increasing the minimum wage won't even help the youth whatsoever. So if it doesn't help the families, it doesn't help youth. Uh, according to an article by Henderson, minimum wage plus $1 equals more poverty. And this was a study published by the National Bureau of Economic Research in Cambridge, Massachusetts. One common justification for raising the minimum wage is that since the ensuing job loss is so small, it's a good way of increasing the income of the unskilled, many of whom are in poor families. In other words, if a 20% minimum wage increases, throws only 2% of you out of work, doesn't that mean that the other 98 get a 20% pay increase? Actually, when the government raises the minimum wage, the majority of youths are, earn, are usually earning well above the new minimum. So most youths will see little to no pay increase after the wage hike. If the minimum wage goes up, only those who have been earning less than the new limit could possibly enjoy a raise. In fact, it is these very low paid youths who are supposed to benefit from a wage hike, who suffer the job losses. So even with increasing minimum wage, it's not even gonna help our teens. So there's no point to it whatsoever. Also, we already mentioned that higher wages doesn't ensure living costs. But let's see. According to an article by the Gala Tribute, minimum wage hike is good, but this was taken from co-chair David Thornley, and he said this in a release, while it restores the lost purchasing power that the poorest paid workers have increased since the last in, have it have since have since the last increase in 2010, it does nothing to raise the bar in the meaning of society's obligations to ensure that the people working full-time can meet their most basic living costs. He said that the task force had called for a four-stage increase to the minimum wage that could have been lifted full-time minimum wage workers to the poverty line. <coughs> if teens or families do want to work or do want better wages, they have to improve their job skills first. Instead of forcing a minimum wage increase, the federal government should consider methods and programs that allow low-skilled workers to improve their skill sets, making them more desirable in the workforce. So the problem is simple, really. If you want to make better wages, go ahead and improve your skill first, go back to college, get an education, and then you can make the money that you actually want. There are various reasons to why individuals either choose or are forced to work for a minimum wage. Assuming that a wage increase will equal the, the playing field is a mistake when trying to help the working poor. There are tax incentives for the working rich to maximize, to minimize taxes. There should be a tax savings or payments for the working poor to maximize earnings. Thank you.